I was doing some digging into Amber while things are somewhat silent on the case between her and Johnny Depp, and I stumbled upon this interesting interview with Amber. And it is an interview for the film she was in called London Fields. Now, before I go into that, I just wanted to show you this is the movie. Here's the cover art, or whatever you want to call it, the poster. And it apparently is some kind of mystery thriller film. I didn't read too, too much into it, but she was in it with a few different actors. And basically, she's like some woman who has to sleep around with three different men to discover which of them is the killer. Interesting plot. So, I'm gonna play the clip and you'll see it right here. You got to basically play, I mean, the way I watched it today, it's sort of three characters. You're three people throughout the movie. Was that just an amazing challenge? Was it fun to take on three different roles at once, basically? It's called being a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what does this woman say? She just basically stated that being a woman means that you have all these different personalities. Personalities. Look, there's a reason why I don't support a lot of women in Hollywood like Amber because there are these huge female activists, which first of all, being an activist or like being for bettering the world and stuff like that, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm not bashing that. I'm bashing how Amber goes about it. There are people like Amber who are all for the support of women, but then they go in, turn around, and backstab us, making us look like whack jobs with their actions. Now, you know Amber, it's not hard for her to make women look bad. Now, Amber, I wanted to just say this. Now, I know she's joking, or she claims to with her body language, but Amber, if you have three personalities, you need to take care of that. Now, something, something that caught my attention, something that caught my attention about Amber was this. So, I will link the video that I, that I addressed this in, but basically, Amber has been on a medicine called Seroquel, and I just googled Seroquel used for a personality disorder. Now, Amber might not entirely be lying when it comes to her possibly having a personality issue that she may have or may not have alluded to in her interview, but it says that patients with borderline personality disorder can show improvement when they're on this drug. Now, Amber, I as I said, I discussed this in one of my other videos. Amber was on Seroquel, and I'm not sure what it treated, but it might she might not completely be be joking when she talks about it in this interview. I mean, you never know. And again, I'm not a psychiatrist, so if people want to say, like, oh, you're not a psychiatrist, you're right, because I'm not. I'm, I'm just going, I'm calling it how it is, I'm just saying what I think I see, you know. Now, moving on. Now, something interesting that I saw on the Wikipedia page for this London Fields mu movie was this. It says, a lawsuit was filed against it says a lawsuit was filed by the producer suing Amber for $10 million. The law claims her and Cullen made unauthorized changes to the film script and failed to finish voiceover work. And it says that she countersued claiming the producers violated a nudity clause in her contract. So I'm assuming that they, yeah, they got it kind of taken care of. Now, I don't even know if this is true. Who even knows if what Amber said is true? But bottom line is Amber seems like she can't stay out of legal trouble. Like, there's always something that she is getting involved in. Like, this just goes to show you that she is not stable to the to the extent of being able to stay out of things that get her into trouble. Which definitely signifies that she could be the problem in this and the one who's the issue in the relationship. Now, something else that I found to be interesting was this. It says, Amber Heard was nominated, nominated in the Worst Actress category at the 39th Golden Raspberry Awards. Now, you're probably wondering what the Golden Raspberry Awards are. It says, it's an award presented at the annual Golden Raspberry Awards to the Worst Actress of the previous year. Male actors performing in drag are eligible as it is intended as a humorous award. So, Amber won one of these awards. And so I'm assuming it's not really like like anything like that serious. I again, there's not much here, so I don't know what exactly it really is. So yeah, this is this I mean, this has gotten a little bit more drawn out than necessary, but the whole point was the, was basically showing you that the that very bizarre strange interview where Amber's like it's called being a woman. Like 
you're just making yourself look bad by saying that stuff. Like, it is not helping your case. Like, Amber is not making herself look good by saying this stuff. If anything, she's she's causing herself more problems because she's probably has so many interviews of her saying these bizarre things that don't make her look good. Now, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think that Amber is kidding or if you actually believe that she could have these issues. Now, I think she thinks she's joking, but still, she could have these problems. And I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by December, so if you guys could really help me, I would really appreciate that. I'll see you next time.